Good morning. It's Saturday. Woo! We had snow last night. I don't know how much. Just talked to my cousin Ronnie. He said they got like five or six inches up there. He was at the shop. Um, we have some bitter cold weather coming, so he's going to make Billy a, a room in the building for him to be in. Because he doesn't like him wandering everywhere because he just poops. He'll go poop everywhere. So he's going out there to do some things. I told him about his Uncle Neil's test from his sleep study. <laughs> um, I'm going to get ready to go to the kitchen and make soup and banana pudding. Yes. Now I must go empty the bladder and brush my hair. But I'm staying in my jammies all day. I don't care. I'm not leaving. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll see you in there. Okay, I'm in here now. Got my stuff out for soup. I got two little heads of cabbage. I got some celery. I'll get a few stalks of that off there. Onion. I'll put in a couple carrots. Diced tomatoes, tomato sauce. Uh, we had beef bouillon in the fridge. You can use chicken or veggie, whatever, which I'll make broth for it. I don't know how much yet because I gotta see how much it's gonna take to cover it all. Some garlic, Italian seasoning, onion soup mix. And some fresh basil that Nikki gave me from her little hydroponic garden thing. So I'm going to start by cutting up all my crap. I put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here. And I'm going to soften the celery, onions, and carrot. I did four carrots, four celery stalk, and the whole onion. You can also add green pepper, mushrooms. Um, there's so many things you can add to this. But as you all know... I would like mushrooms, but I didn't have any. But green pepper, no, no. I don't like it cooked. So I'm going to get this softened up. It only takes a few minutes. I just put my softened veggies in the pot, and I'm going to dump in the cabbage. And now i got to open some of my cans of tomato stuff. Okay, I put my can of tomato sauce and my can of diced. And there was the diced tomatoes that are flavored, like basil, oregano, and stuff. I'm going to put in some garlic. Just, you know, like a little, a little spoonful. And, oops. And a little sprinkle of Italian seasoning. And here's three cups of beef broth so far. I'm going to go make some more. I just want to cover, get this covered. You can use water also. But I'm going to go make some more of this. I'm going to get my stuff covered mixed up. I got the liquid just, just to the top of the cabbage. I ended up doing like six cups of the beef, better than beef bouillon. And then just six cups of water. Um, just get it to the top because the when the cabbage cooks, it'll give off some moisture. So... I'm going to put this on to cook. The last thing I'm going to toss in right now is I'm going to get this all slivered up and put it in there too. This is a fresh basil. I got it like a medium high right now until it comes to a boil. Then I'm going to turn it down to simmer. But it's going to percolate right now. But now, while that's going, guess what I'm going to make? Can you guess? For my banana pudding, I just, we had two vanilla ones here at the house, so I just mixed up four cups of cold milk with the two pudding boxes, and I'm going to get it mixed up real well and have a soft set on the table. I'll get my other stuff around. So, in about 10 or 15 minutes, this will be set up enough to use to put together as banana pudding. It took like 10 minutes, and the pudding's solid enough to... Oh, I gotta stir another piece of clump and I'll stir it back up again, but it's solid enough to make the pudding. Cut up a couple bananas so far, and we have some mini Nella wafers, but in this pan I'm gonna put a little bit of pudding, and then I'm gonna do wafers, ready whip, bananas, pudding, wafers, ready whip. That way there's two, the wafers are surrounded by pudding and ready whip. Bananas. I'm going to do that all the way to the top. So I'm going to do the layers. Remember, pudding, wafers, ready whip, bananas. 
it's coming along. I'm on my second layer of Nella wafers. So I'm getting ready to. Hey. I gotta get a rewind. Empty. I gotta open up that bad boy. Man, I got whipped cream everywhere. Ugh, okay. Now let's spray some in here. Then I'm just gonna flatten it down with a spoon. That's good. Yummy. I, I crumble up a few cookies on top. It's full. I think there's pudding. I think there's two layers of cookies. Pudding, cookie, ready whip, banana, pudding, cookie, ready whip, banana, then pudding, then cookies. That's it. That's how it went. It always fills this container perfectly. So now I'm going to seal this up, stick it in the fridge for tonight. I have this on low now. I got it up to a rolling boil and turned it down to low and now it's just cooking. You see how much moisture is already cooked out of all the cabbage? Um, also, I forgot to say salt and pepper to taste. Whoops. My spoon just fell in. Okay. So now I'm just going to let this cook for a while. We'll have this a little bit later for dinner. It's 1.30, so maybe for a late lunch or early dinner. We'll probably eat about 4. So yeah, early dinner. Kimber Ann, here's where Dad put... The docs that you sent him, the stuffed one, I had to rearrange her shelf, but yeah. Yep, that's Heidi's shelf. Now I'm going to go stir the soup. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, it smells good in here. How you looking? Oh, you're looking good. Get my spoon. Oh, it's cooking down nice. Yeah. It smells so good though. Mmm. Turned you around. To my fat mug. Dad's, he said I'm going out to play in the snow. But then he just called me so I realized he actually got out of the driveway. He uh, went uptown. He likes, to, he, he likes to play and then get out and drive around and check out the situation. We've got some snow. It is, it's still snowing. It's been snowing all night long. But the accumulation is only about five inches, maybe. So it's not horrible for us. Because we live in an area where we get system snow and lake effect snow. The lake can dump a lot of snow on us very quickly. Like eight to ten inches, like that. But uh, this is just the system snow. So we haven't really got any lake effect snow yet this season. So it's been very lucky. He, uh, he's heading home now. He's up the road. He didn't leave town, which is good. He just stayed in town. <laughs> but uh, I just stirred my soup, as you saw. It smells really good in this kitchen. I'm going to go in my bedroom and do a little potty trip planning. Write some stuff down in my notebook. Find out, just kind of look up on my maps, estimated times of travel from place to place that we've got mapped out so far. Because I'm going to meet with Ronnie on Wednesday. And we're going to go over some more. So, yes. Uh, hmm. I guess that's about all i got to say. I'll be back a little later. I just dipped me up some soup. Dad just came in from the world. How's the world out there? I love it. I love playing in the snow. He got his snow blower. It started on the first pole, didn't it? First pull, it started right up for a year. So. He said the roads aren't the best, but there aren't many people out. I love it. Now, you, you people down south don't know what the hell you're missing, I tell you. <laughs> well, really? lately they've been getting their own problems with the weather. Yeah. Hey, it looks like it stopped snowing. It did, it was snowing. When I was in here a minute ago, it was still snowing. Now I have to wait for this to cool because it's very, it very was. hot. I just tried it and it's very good. And then he put hot sauce in his. Hot sauce makes it better. No, it doesn't. I don't like the hot sauce. No hot sauce, no good. I love hot sauce. I love cabbage soup. Yeah. Now we're going to enjoy it's Not our... just cabbage soup, but it's got carrots in it. There's vegetables. You got celery in here too? Yep. Celery, carrots, onion. And then I put a French onion soup oh, mix in it. What about that turnip? I didn't put anything starchy in it. No starchy oh, okay. stuff in this. Kitty, you missed the cabbage soup. 
Was you sleeping? Was you sleepy? Come here. You're comfy, huh? I'm gonna lay here next to you here in a moment, day. Yes. Somebody is still. She didn't move even when I sat down. <laughs> now, I think I'm gonna lay down and watch some Netflix. I'm getting through season eight of Shameless right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one day I'm gonna go back and finish whatever's on there of Wentworth and Orange is the New Black and oh I can go on and on and on but I'm in the mood for Shameless today though the Gallagher family man there's something else but I'll be back later as soon as I lay here on my side somebody has to climb up on me like a mountain and use me as a giant human pillow yep and it's funny, if I lay on my other side, she won't do it. Only if I lay on this side. She's weird. Alright. Now we're going to go into the video world. Kitty, what are you doing there? Tell him it's later now, huh? Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? Um, I just went and got me some. Banana pudding! I haven't tasted it yet. Let's let's try it. Kitty's over here sniffing it. Mm. Good. I used vanilla pudding today because that's all I had. You can use banana. Um, French vanilla. I wonder if butterscotch banana would be good. But that's what we had. So I'm gonna enjoy that. Haven't had it in a long time. And, um, I haven't watched any Netflix like I said I was. I'm, I've been watching YouTube, so. I, uh, trying to catch up on some of that. But, I hope you're never going to Saturday. What are you doing for your weekend? Anything exciting? Kitty, what are you doing for your weekend? See, this is it. Holding down my mama's bed, right? Kitty, right? Yeah, that's what she says. So, bye.